Fellow Council of Sierra Presidents, uh, I am Council of Kalamosise, Council of Water and Indian and at the same time, double has the Chairman of the Finance Committee and then the Revenue Committee. So, uh, the purpose of today's press conference uh, that we organize, uh, we are making a response uh, to the former councillors uh, who have a press conference at the former mayor's residence in Tallinn. And then uh, doing certain allegations against the current councils. So we are here to debunk those uh, allegations and then allegations against the loan mayor, the current loan mayor of KMC, Tali Ahmed Ben So uh, regarding the uh, uh, statement uh, by the mayor, yes, it is true that KMC uh, used to have a mixture here. So these are only reports. Uh, in the past entry management report, uh, which was headed by Chairman Bakar Jami. It is in the report and then the report is available. So it is not only during the Ramadan that they sell meat, but before Ramadan they in fact sell meat. All year round they keep on selling meat here. But these people, the time the entry came here, they stopped meat selling in KMC here. So according to entry management, individual collected monthly salary, whilst they are not doing uh, any service to the council. These are ghost workers. Every end of month, individuals come here and collect salary uh, and then claim that they are council staff, whereas they are ghost workers. They are, they are not offering any services to the council. From 2015 to 2016, individual councillors and other members request for payment for birthday celebration. Example, former councillor for Ivo and Mulamin Baji, a check number 006 from Janet Bank Limited, Voltage number PV. 150391 dated 21st May 2015 at the tune of 268,000 dollars plus an annual expenses of 500,000 dollars in independent celebration in the form of an impress. So this former councillor keep on making a request on behalf of the former ex-president's birthday. So whether he used the money for his personal usage, we don't know, but there are evidence. And then I, the check number is here, the version uh, number is here. And then the amount that is 260,000 paid to Mulamin budget requested on behalf of the former president. So, and then again, uh, from 2014 to 2016, every year the same people keep on requesting 500,000 every year from 2014 to 2016. $500,000 claiming that uh, they are using that money for independent celebrations. In the interim management report, former councillor Mollam Baji, he diverted $816,465.00 from the market juice for a cultural festival in Kanalai. So the same councillor Mollam Baji, he took this some amount of money, that is $816,465, and he claimed that it is going to be used for festival. Uh, at so we all know in the Finance and Audit Act, uh, it is mentioned there, council's revenue must be spent on council, or oh, within that particular jurisdiction of the council, but not outside the council, which is very, which is illegal. So again, the report shows that January 26, 2015, council paid 512400 dollars $400 to Bandala Park Hotel through a bank transfer for 
for Arab Gambia Islamic Bank. Voucher number PV 150177 for accommodation of 138 people for six days. So, according to the mayor's statement, this is true. They were paying uh, just whom you know that they are coming from Casamas, and then, and then, and then this amount was been used $512,400. This just we are lodged at Barara Park. So, those who are claiming that the mayor mentioned the name of a tribe, mayor never mentioned any name of a tribe. Mayor was mentioned a region, and that region is outside the country. So, in case uh, those who are saying that the mayor mentioned a tribe, they are misleading the public. And the residents of KMC take notes, they are misleading you. So, 2014, according to the entry management report, there are only five trucks in active service for a waste collection, not 25 tractors and trailers. In this same year, council spent $20 million for procurement of used vehicles from a supplier called Nyakabanda, which are not roadworthy. This matter was still at court with the new council. So, these people claim that they were having a 25 a waste trucks that we are doing a waste collection. We all know in 2014. Yes, in 2014, to date. How many residents will say that KFC used to collect the waste for you for free? It is not true. And then again, we never find any 25 years collection, a collection vehicle in KMC. Again, these people will take, take taxpayers' money and then buy a used vehicle, which is against the Procurement Act. Taxpayers' money cannot be used to buy a used vehicle. And then most of these vehicles are not roadworthy and they never collected a single vehicle or single operation in the single day we have been brought to the Gambia with one supplier called Nagabanda. And then still the issue is at, at the court and we can finish with the documents. Mr. Rambo Jada received $230,000 from KMC, from KMC for a community radio station in 2016 through Sanyo Enterprise, owned and operated by one nominated council of Mullah Sanya. Whilst Mr. Rambo Jada is not a registered vendor, some part of this uh, radio equipment are delivered, some part are still missing. So, for you guys to take note, uh, $230,000 was given to Mr. Rambo Jada for him to deliver, uh, for him to do a service for council for radio stations. And then up to date, uh, some parts have been delivered, some parts have not been delivered. So, according to the entry management reports, uh, most of the council suppliers used to be councillors. So, this is an enterprise was owned by a particular councillor called Momon Lamin Sanya. Uh, so, it, it is in the entry management report and I will finish with those documents. So during the press conference by the former councillors, our press sponsored them. May we have the court Yes, Mr. Rambo Jada. He does not want this office to be kept for people to say that I'm the first guy who came, I'm the second guy who came. No. You will be able to appointment, you will book an appointment, and you come and see the mail. So, and then, two, if you make an mail of one office to be that much of one, at the end of the day, for the mail to deliver to the public or to the resident of the agency will be very difficult. So, that's why there are days that he allocated for people. Those who want to see him at his own private office, you can go there and see him. But in fact, the mail work from Monday to Saturday. People can attest to that. For then we all know that the former council they work from Monday to Friday. But for we work from Monday to Saturday. And then again, Mayor Benson is the first mayor in the entire KMC who uses his own private vehicle for a one year without council giving him an official vehicle for a mayor. It is all in the record. The first Design for the new building was not suitable for the current operation of KMC. That's why mayor office was moved. But the deputy mayor office remained downstairs. We heard during the press briefing because most of the uh, the, 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 the previous design for this building uh, was badly been done. It was not uh, it, it was not suitable for the current operation of the KMC. That's why the time we came, we found we have to redo the design because how can you have an office without a proper ventilation? How can you have an office? without the proper toilet. That's why even currently, even the taxpayers, when they come in, they in fact struggle for them to have access to a toilet and other facilities. KMC owed $3 million to the Tombol Clinic in 2015-2016. The new council was taken to court to settle uh, this bill because the medical insurance was abused. 
So according to them, they stop, uh, is the mayor who stopped the medical insurance. I think they are misleading the public. I think they call themselves uh, former councillors, and they, some of them they serve for two terms. It is not the mayor who take a decision. It is the general council. And if you check during the general, general council proceeding, mayor does not have a voting right, unless when there is a tie. That's the time the mayor votes. And it is not the mayor who uh, stop uh, this uh, medical insurance. It is the general council. And the notes, we, during this year, KMC was blacklisted by all the insurance companies. So that's why Moral Clinic was uh, doing a favor for them. Staff of the KMC, we are going there. Not only the staff, some people are giving it to their personal friends. So the bill was too huge. They were unable to pay it. So the time we are, you know, the time we as an office in 2018, 2019, the, the particular set will take council to the court and then we have to settle this amount. KMC growth salary in December 2017 on record was 3 million and 68,560.0 bututs as of uh, December 2017. So for them, they are saying that uh, the KMC salary, uh, gross salary used to be 2 million, which means they are misleading the public. The reason why KMC salary rise, uh, rise because of the following. There was 100% increment on pensioners allowance. I think we all hear that. Uh, uh,